Howdy shipmates, it's Captain Dan here. Welcome to Storytime with Captain Dan. How are we all doing? Welcome to this time where we share stories old and new with lots of people, with all my new friends that I'm meeting in this time of um, physical isolation but deep, deep connection and we're connecting through these great stories. I hope if you have any requests, please send them in. Any shout outs, anybody who'd like them to be names to be called out, please, please do. And today's story is a classic, classic tale called Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And I'm dedicating this story to my dear friend Gwyneth, who was an amazing, amazing woman who did lots for so many people. So this is for you, this is for Gwyneth Roper. I hope you get to hear it. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's a peep through the window book, actually, by, by Penny Ives. So as we look at the illustrations, you can sometimes see a little more than you thirst for as we peep through the windows. It's illustrated by Penny Ives. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a little cottage on the edge of the wood. There was a great big father bear a middle-sized mother bear and a tiny weeny baby bear. Every morning they made porridge for breakfast. There was a great big bowl for father bear, a middle-sized bowl for mother bear and a tiny weeny bowl for baby bear. One morning they made their porridge as usual and sat down on their chairs. Father Bear in his great big chair, Mother Bear in her middle-sized chair and Baby Bear in his tiny weeny chair. But on this particular morning the porridge was far too hot to eat. And if you peek through that window you may just see a little visitor who's on her way. As you turn the page. So the three bears set out for a walk in the woods while they waited for their porridge to cool. And if you look through the window, you just see the porridge cool. And off they wandered, and off they wandered, and you can just see a little visitor there in the distance. Soon after a while, a little girl called Goldilocks came by. She was, she was lost in the woods and feeling tired and hungry and when she saw the bowls of porridge through the window she pushed open the door and went inside. You could do that in those days, not today, that would be naughty. She sat down and first she tasted the porridge in the great big bowl. But it was too hot. Next she tasted the porridge in the middle sized bowl. But that was far too cold. Then she tasted the porridge in the tiny weeny bowl. And that porridge was just right. So she ate all the porridge up. Mm. Goldilocks was very tired by now and, and needed to sit down. So first she sat on the great big chair. But the great big chair was far too hard. Next she sat on the middle sized chair. But the middle sized chair was just too soft. You can see it there. Then she sat on the tiny weeny chair and that chair was just right. She sat comfortably on it, but then all of a sudden it broke into pieces and poor Goldilocks fell on the floor. <laughs> Shouldn't really laugh, but it's kind of funny. Oh, poor Goldilocks. By this time, she was feeling quite sleepy. I know how she feels. Goldilocks went upstairs to the bedroom. First she lay down on the great big bed, but it was too heavy. 
far too hard for her soft, delicate skin. Then she lay down on the middle-sized bed, but the middle-sized bed was too soft for her to sleep. She kind of sank into it. And then she tried the tiny, weeny bed. And the tiny, weeny bed was just, just right. And she soon, soon fell asleep. That's how Goldilocks sleeps, you know. Well, by and by, the three little bears decided to come home to enjoy their porridge. They were hungry after their walk. Father Bear looked at his great big bowl. There you can see him. Someone's been eating my porridge, he said in a gruff, growly voice. Mother Bear looked into her middle-sized bowl and she said, well, someone's been eating my porridge, she said in a soft, sweet voice. Baby Bear looked into his tiny, weeny bowl. Someone's been eating my porridge, <laughs> he cried. I've been eating it all up. Oh, poor baby bear. And the three bears looked around the room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Father Bear in his gruff, growly voice. And, and someone's been sitting in, in my chair, said Mother, said Mother Bear in a soft, sweet, sounds a bit like a BBC News presenter voice. It's the best one I can do for Mummy Bear, I'm sorry. Someone's been sitting in my chair and I've broken it. It's in pieces, cried Baby Bear in his squeaky little voice. Then the three bears went upstairs to the bedroom. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Father Bear in his strange... Brian Blessed type voice, actually. And then someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mother in a soft, sweet voice. And, and someone, someone's been sleeping in, in my bed. And, and look, he, they're still here, said Baby Bear in his uh, little squeaky voice. And there you can see Goldilocks in the bed. Well, Goldilocks slept through the gruff, vowly, growly voice of father and the soft, sweet voice of mother bear, but baby bear's squeaky little voice woke her up and she sat up in bed with a start. <gasps> when she saw the three bears, she jumped out of bed and ran down the stairs and out of the cottage into the woods as fast as her legs could carry her. And do you know what? The three bears never saw Goldilocks again. Goldilocks and the three bears. A peep through the window book by Penny Ives. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed story time with Captain Dan today and his classic tale of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, a retelling of an old classic. But that's the end of today's story time with Captain Dan, so I'm going to have to bid you a good night. Please do keep in touch. Requ any requests, if I can get hold of the story, I'm happy to tell. Any shout out to friends, I'm pleased to do. We're all in this one together. It's telling our tales and it's 
spreading a bit of joy during this time of, of physical isolation. So I'm going to bid you a good night. So good night from Cat and Dan. So good night, good night. Oh sweet repose, don't lie on your belly because well, you know it by now, don't you? You might squash your nose. Good night.